Before this video gets started, I highly, highly, highly encourage you guys to drop a sub to my channel if you guys want more content like this. Thanks, enjoy the video. Oh, Alright, what's going on guys? So today I was informed that Maximilian Mus has made a return to YouTube. One of my arch nemesises, nemesi, I don't know, but Maximilian Mus is unfortunately back on YouTube. Now I figured we would just give my thoughts and talk about it. My last video on Maximilian Mus blew up. It's at 45,000 views in like a month. Fucking crazy for my channel. So anyways, he, uh, he got his channel back because after you delete your own channel, you can bring it back after 30 days. So after exactly 30 days, he for some reason had the idea in his head that the internet was going to forget about what he did. All the drama, meaning incredibly serious crimes that he's committed. Later in the video, I'm just going to discuss some of the things that he did. I'm not going to show any screenshots or anything. You guys can get the screenshots from people like Critical, from other YouTubers. I'm not here to show you guys the evidence of what he's done. I'm here to give my thoughts and opinions on it. If you want, there's videos of people. You can find them all over the place, even in Critical's newest video. He showed videos of him saying that he wanted to molest children and stuff like that. The proof is not going to be in this video. This is just the video where I talk about the things that have absolutely happened in his community. So, a month has gone by now since he deleted his channel, unfortunately. And he is back on YouTube. And uh, he posted a video called Being a Simp in Modern Warfare. It has 5.1k likes to 12k dislikes. Now, obviously, a negative like ratio is amazing. Very happy to see that this guy will never be able to make another video on the platform and get a positive like ratio because he does not deserve it. The things that he's done, which again, I'm going to mention later, massive trigger warning for those things later in the video, by the way. But for the things that he's done, he deserves to not only be kicked off the platform, but put in a prison cell for life. So, he's currently at 1.43 million subscribers, somehow. The description of the video says, Drama is over, fellas. Regular, upro regular uploads return in April. Enjoy this meanwhile. He's acting like nothing's happened. He acted like nothing matters anymore. It's perfectly fine. Everything he did is just behind him and in the past. Obviously untrue. So, he put this comment on his video, uh, he pinned it, it says, Critical has allegedly known about the CP stuff for years, but does not say anything about it until he's raided. Do you find that to be a likely story? Anyone that doesn't find that to be a red flag is missing some brain cells. Because in Critical's original video about Maximilian Musk that premiered about a month ago, he said, I've known about this guy for quite some time, I should have made a video sooner, but I only decided to make a video now. That doesn't necessarily mean that Critical knew everything about Max and his entire situation. And plus, giving clout to someone, especially because Critical has like 7 or 8 million subscribers, he would be giving Maximilian the views and the attention that he desperately wants. So even if he was doing some really fuck shit, that does not mean that Critical's a pedo because he didn't make a video about it or anything like that. Uh, Maximilian Mus is clearly just deranged in, in his head. Uh, then the next part says, He literally shows a fake Discord screenshot as proof. Does it make any sense for him to make a video claiming I defend CP, not show any of it, and then only show it 30 days later? Huge red flag, and it makes no sense, and it's so easy to fake Discord DMs. In Critical's video that he posted today, it shows... DMs with absolute proof that they are real DMs. 100% real, no doubt about it. The owner of the server is the one saying these things on Discord. And just because Maximilian Mus is saying screenshots can be faked easily, he's not even saying that I'm innocent. He's not even pretending to be innocent. He's just saying, oh, well, screenshots can be fake. He's not even saying he's innocent. Because, I mean, he's honestly already admitted to everything in the past. He's admitted to everything. For some reason, this guy, clearly just delusional in the head. 
He likes to go back on everything he said. He's made multiple apology videos. And uh, I have a video that I'm going to get into later. Also massive trigger warning. This video might be kind of long. Sorry about that. But yeah. Uh, apparently also here. He's um. Ma or Maximilian Muss is saying that Critical should have shown the CP to prove it. Which. No. That's fucked. He he's genuinely saying that. Critical has no proof of CP because he didn't show any of the CP in his video. Like, what the fuck is this guy on? It's just, it's some absolutely insane retard shit. So, what actually made me want to make the video that I'm recording right now is a lot of the most early comments on this video were from the Maximilian fans and stands, the people that have his profile picture, the people that think that he's done nothing wrong. And uh, now the comments are full of the glorious screenshot, the Pablo Picasso painting as, uh, or the Van Gogh painting that Critical was talking about in his video, where in a Discord server, Maximilian Must says the lines, he called me a pedophile. I mean, he's not wrong, but he has no evidence. Maximilian Muss, right there, admitted to being a pedophile. Now, immediately just from that, he should be getting kicked the fuck off the platform, no doubt about it. But yeah, that's just something that people are copy-pasting and spamming in his comments. I don't even know how many comments are on this video. 11,471. I'd say that at least 10,471 are just the same exact thing that everyone's going to be copy pastaing in every single comment section of any of his videos. Because this guy, for some reason, he thinks that, oh, it's been a month, so now everything I did in the past is completely fine, completely not a big deal. But uh, it absolutely is. So, there's this video called Maximilian Muss Fans Graphic that was posted on YouTube. I don't know how long it was on YouTube before being completely purged off the platform, but it's a video of Maximilian Muss and his friends in a Discord call. And one of the people that was in the call, this is the trigger warning part, by the way, so just to let you guys know if you guys are eating, you probably don't want to hear about this. But in the call, there was a guy who was sitting there in his chair completely naked high on meth methamphetamine the same drug that they were making in breaking bad if you guys have ever seen that he was high on literal meth he had a rusty razor blade that he was using to cut himself he was cutting words into himself he was cutting symbols into himself and maximilian and his friends were completely encouraging the whole thing and that's not even the worst part. Early in the video, it doesn't show it, but we do get to see screenshots of it in the video. And we do see some of the aftermath. The guy essentially took the razor blade, and this is legitimately hard for me to say, but he took the razor blade and cut his dick in half. And then Maximilian Moss said... Put some meth in the cuts, rub it in, get it really infected. Now, I'm not going to show any clips from that video in this video that I'm making right here, right now. I don't want to get banned. I don't want to ever be shown as, or even taken completely out of context as anything that could look like me supporting that in any way, shape, or form. I have the video saved strictly for if I ever need to use it in a type of legal scenario against Maximilian Muss. I have no idea how that would work, but I have that video. And there are also other videos, tons of screenshots, tons of evidence. Now, I'm sure a couple of them are sure fake. I'll give that one to Maximilian Muss. But there are so many ones that are completely real, that are going around, that tons of people are making videos about, that could seriously get Maximilian Muss locked in prison, maybe even for life, because of the absolutely heinous shit that he's done. 
he has made discord servers upon discord servers of getting his fan base to come in and go raid someone's youtube channel raid their live stream say really sexist homophobic things telling people that they should be gassed telling women that women have no purpose in society telling gay people to kill themselves just a lot of really horrible shit i don't know how he doesn't get banned for it to be honest because it's just horrible he it's just it, it's absolutely horrible he's convinced or not convinced but he's tried to convince his fans to drive to people's houses and kill them even with critical people in his server there are some screenshots of people in his server talking about killing critical like driving to his house and killing him because the video that he made about maximilian Mus. that is how deranged these people are i have no idea how the hell you let it get that bad to the point where your community of people the only people who watch your videos are so deranged that they are genuinely talking about murdering other people for making a simple youtube video i absolutely don't understand that i have no idea how people let that shit slide i don't know why maximilian must still has a platform on youtube i don't know why he's not banned if you want to see the screenshots of them talking about killing people watch critical's video that he posted today on it he shows the screenshots he shows videos it's all there and it's all real but the fact is that his community of people is so brainwashed into believing that i would call it a literal cult there is a cult of people who worship maximilian mus as if he's some type of god or savior because he's communicating with these people and oh my god lord maximilian mus he's famous he has almost you know one and a half million subscribers people worship him in a horrible way you know like the dream stands you know the tommy in it fans and stands whatever they do some weird shit you know they send death threats you know they dox people you know pretty bad but not nearly as bad as maximilian Mus's fan base literally talking about killing people trying to meet them at conventions and kill them that is the fan base and the cult of maximilian mus and his fans they've done so many other horrible things that i don't even want to touch on in this video the, the things that he's done that i've talked about are my last two videos if you guys want to watch them i'll have them linked down in the description below you guys can give those videos a quick check but that's just some of the shit that he has done. This guy is horrible and he has brainwashed his fans into believing some of the absolute worst things ever. It's terrible. To any Maximilian Mus fans, I can guarantee you that you guys don't actually like Maximilian Mus. There is no way that anyone who is mentally stable is looking at this guy and what he does and the things that his fan base is doing and says that's fine he's just edgy people have almost died because of him a guy cut his dick in half and rubbed meth in it and got it all infected because of maximilian mus that's not edgy at all it's borderline evil psychotic and terrible if you support that I genuinely feel bad for you. For people that got roped into Maximilian Mus's cult, who got caught believing the things that he told you, were caught doing the things that he told you to do, I feel genuinely bad for you. Because a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of his fan base is reasonably young. Some are even 12 or 13 years old. So people that have been tricked into believing what this guy has told you is absolutely horrible and i feel really bad for the innocent impressionable people who got caught and fell into maximilian Mus's trap of toxicity chaos and pain uh Wiest made a video recently about the situation and he had something great to say he said 
If you want to leave Maximilian Muss's community, you're welcome here in mine. You're welcome here. We have a good community here. We have a fun community here. We have a community that is not built off toxicity, hatred, drama, and borderline evil shit. And I agree with that statement. It's absolutely true. People that have been brainwashed into believing Maximilian Muss and doing what he says, I feel bad for you. Please, please be open-minded to the idea that this guy is not the saint that some people seem to think that he is. Seriously, he is a terrible human being. If you guys are supporters of him, I highly encourage you to join a community of good people. Quit being involved in the toxicity because not just Maximilian Muss could be sent to jail or prison or convicted of his crimes. A lot of the people that are in Max's servers are accomplices to whatever the hell he's told them to do. Because doxing, swatting, threatening people, that is all illegal. But yeah, overall, that's essentially it. I just wanted to make this video and talk to you guys. We have to stop Maximilian Musk from having a platform. Make sure you guys report his videos. This guy cannot stay on the platform. Luckily, he's losing, you know, thousands to tens of thousands of subs per day at this point. So that's great. Let's keep it going. Let's try and at least promote some type of positivity on the internet and not allow this guy to get any more of a platform than he already has right now. Because these things cannot stay on the internet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys want a better community to join, make sure you guys hit the sub button on my channel. You'll be much more welcome here, and I will not threaten you guys or send you guys to harass people. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Peace out.